Hi guys and welcome to the 60 second fundamental where I go over one fundamental of the golf swing in 60 seconds. The clock starts now. Hi guys, welcome back. In today's 60 second fundamental, we're gonna talk about how to make it easier to hit a little bit of a draw. Now, one of the misconceptions that I see as we're swinging, everybody tells you you need to hit the inside of the golf ball. So you need to come from the inside and swing out to the right. But if my face contacts the ball from the inside, I'm not gonna be able to get that draw. If I have the proper draw, I'm gonna release my face and it's actually gonna be contacting the outside of the ball. So if we're looking at this golf ball here, what you can see is, we're gonna imagine that it's split into two halves. We draw lines straight up and down. You can see the lines that are on this ball. I want my club face to make contact on the outside of these lines. So I want my, my face to actually make contact on this side of the ball over here. If I can do that, that's gonna help me to come around the ball. As I swing to the right, my face is gonna be to the left, and that's what's gonna get me a draw. So let's go ahead and try that out. There we go, that drew about 15 or 20 yards, and it was very easy to do because I let my face curve around the outside of the ball. If you're thinking about coming inside and holding the face open, it's gonna be tough to hit that draw. So good luck, get on the outside of the ball, get rid of that slice. All right, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Now, we're gonna be putting up a lot more content in the future, so be sure to subscribe by clicking the button at the top of your screen. That way you can see our latest content absolutely for free. I've also got a bonus for you guys, which is a lag video. It's gonna help you build massive amounts of lag in your downswing, and about five or six bonus videos you're gonna get on the site with that too. So all in all, you're gonna to get tons of great instruction absolutely for free. Just click the link that pops up on the right-hand side of your screen or down below in the description if you're joining us on a mobile device. Good luck, and I'll see you in the lag video. Hi guys, and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see. And in this drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag, and then we're gonna to try to hold this throughout the swing. It's one of the worst things that you, can, that you can do to build lag. I'm gonna talk about the science behind why this is the case, and I'm also gonna give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get if started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, look at Tiger Woods. All these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag is right at the end of the golf club. This is where I want my hinge point to be. I wanna use the full length of this club to build lag and then release lag.